Hello Taurus, I'm rising in Venus and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward. So with all that being said, Taurus, let's get started. Let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? All right, Taurus. So we do have the Two of Swords out here, okay? We also have the Five of Wands, and then we also have the Four of Wands. There's something, Taurus, that's really upsetting you within this connection that you share with this person that you currently find yourself connecting with. Now, for some of you, you could very well be married to this person. You might be in a committed relationship with them. You might even share a home with them. But regardless, right, of the status of your relationship to this person in particular, um, I do feel like there's something currently at the moment that's definitely upsetting you within this dynamic that you share with this person. Now, there's an energy also to Taurus of feeling like you can't really talk to them. There's an energy of you essentially feeling like you might as well just keep what's upsetting you and or bothering you to yourself because it, it's not like anything's going to change and or get resolved like that's the overall energy that I'm picking up on um with this two of swords five of wands energy I do want to look at the five of wands though so I'm more about the five of wands okay we have the four of pentacles we have the hermit out here and then we also have the Justice card. Whatever is currently upsetting you, Taurus, within this dynamic that you share with this person, not only do you feel like you can't talk to them about it, but you also feel like even if you were to have a conversation with this person about what's bothering you and or upsetting you, um, a lot of you feel like, well, nothing's going to change, right? So there's an energy of you essentially feeling um, like you have to do something about your current situation because, you know, a lot of you are currently, like I said, under the impression that talking to them is pointless because it's not like anything's going to change. Like it has that type of feel to it. So there is definitely an energy of you feeling like you have to do something about your current situation. And it has a lot to do with a really big decision that you basically have to make. Let's look at the justice card. Tell me more about justice. All right. We have the chariot. All right. We also have the queen. Of wands and then we also have the two of cups the bottom of the deck we do have the full out here we also have the five of swords and then we also have the knight of cups mm, that's interesting um taurus in regards to this really big decision that you would have to make in regards to your relationship uh with this person in particular it's it's very clear cut straightforward you're either going to continue to stick around and basically tolerate things that you don't necessarily want to tolerate or you're not um but ultimately you know the, that's like the only two options uh that you know you basically have currently at the moment now what I find to be interesting is this energy that your person's basically harnessing, okay? Um, you know, what's interesting is at the moment that I saw this Five of Swords energy, uh, the first thing that came to my mind is mistake, um, but it doesn't necessarily feel right to call whatever it is that they did on their end a mistake because I feel like this person was consciously aware that by doing whatever it is that they did, it would be... It would basically bother you. It would basically upset you, but they chose to do it either which way is basically what I'm getting. Um, this to me feels like an energy of somebody like acting oblivious, like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that that would bother you. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that that would upset you. But that's the thing um, is that I do feel like this person in particular is consciously aware that by them doing whatever it is that they did, um, they knew that it would basically upset you. They knew that it would basically bother you, but they chose to do it either which way. But I just feel like they're not going to give you that, you know, obviously impression um, that they knew that what they were doing or whatever it is that they did would basically bother you and upset you, even though deep down inside they knew that whatever it is that they said and or did would bother you and upset you, but they did it anyways. But they're just going to kind of you know, paint this image to you like, oh my gosh, like I had no idea that that would bother you. Oh my gosh, I had no idea that that would upset you. Even though they, they did know that it would bother you and upset you. I am definitely getting though an apology coming from this person to you. Not, to be honest, I don't feel like this apology coming from this person is going to 
make you feel better or anything like that but i am definitely getting an apology coming from this person to you but i just keep getting an energy of somebody pretending like they're completely and utterly oblivious like oh my gosh like i didn't know that, that would bother you taurus i'm sorry um even though they knew it would definitely bother you okay <clears throat> let's look at this person how does this person currently view this relationship <clears throat> all right so we do have the ace of cups we have the seven of pentacles and then we also have the two of wands out here the bottom of the deck we do have the lovers and then we also have the four of cups with the six of wands okay i do want to look at the four of cups in a minute um, but in regards to how this person's currently viewing this relationship, you know, believe it or not, this person does view this relationship that they share with you in a very, very beautiful lighting. Granted, um, I, I do feel like there's something about this dynamic that they basically share with you that makes them very unhappy. And that's something that I really want to kind of look into just to kind of get a rough idea of what's going on on their end. But what, whatever it is that is making this person feel somewhat unhappy, doesn't necessarily, I would say, overpower, um, you know, like the way that they feel about you, the way that they view you and what is it they want with you. Because this person does kind of come off to me as somebody who looks at their relationship with you where the good basically outweighs the bad is basically what I'm getting. So they tend to definitely view you and the relationship that they share with you um, in a very positive way. Um, way however there is definitely something about this dynamic that they share with you that does make them very very unhappy um like i said in their eyes anyways the good really does outweigh the bad here granted there's definitely something about this relationship that makes them very unhappy but outside of that they do seem to me as somebody who's very content and and um and for the most part happy with what it is that they share with you all right time more about the four of cups Oh, okay. We have the devil out here. We have the empress. And then we also have the six of pentacles. Now, before I say this, just keep in mind that we are going based off of them and how they're currently viewing this relationship and how they feel about it. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. But there is an overall energy of them essentially feeling like they can never do right within this marriage and a relationship that they basically share with you. Um, it's primarily what I'm getting, okay? Um, this person basically feels like you don't necessarily acknowledge um, all the good that they basically bring into your life, you only acknowledge all the bad that they basically bring into your life. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that all of this is true, and that's kind of why I said that keep in mind we are looking at things from their perspective and how they feel and stuff like that. Um, and that's one thing that they don't necessarily like about this relationship. Everything else, um, you know, is perfectly fine. They view it to, you know, their relationship with you as, for the most part, a very perfect relationship, even though, you know what I mean, nobody in this life is perfect, no relationship is perfect but if we get rid of them feeling this way within this dynamic that they basically share with you they definitely view you in this relationship with you as like the perfect relationship they've ever experienced and or had but yeah there are times where you do make this person Taurus feel uh like they can't they just can't get it together they just can't do right within this dynamic that they basically share with you because um, you know, you're more, um, I guess, hyper-focused and all the bad that they basically put you through to the point where they feel like you don't see all the good um, that they basically bring into your life. And that in itself does make this person very, very unhappy that you do tend to hyper-focus on, like, you know, all of the negative things that they put you through, completely forgetting about all the good things um, that they've essentially done for you and the good memories that you guys have created with one another is basically what I'm getting, okay? Um, I do want to continue on with your energy just to kind of see how you're currently feeling. How does Taurus currently feel? Ooh, okay. We have the Five of Cups, we have the Five of Pentacles, and then we also have the Ten of Cups. You know what's interesting um, is that in your eyes, through your perspective, right, you actually feel like the bad is outweighing the good, which is interesting because they feel like the good is definitely outweighing the bad. Granted, do they have their bad moments with you? Absolutely. Um, 
But for the most part, they still view this relationship that they share with you as like a healthy and beautiful one. It just has its moments, right? You, on the other hand, you're looking at this relationship like the bad is really, really starting to outweigh the good. And because you're viewing this relationship as, you know, the bad starting to really outweigh the good in this entire situation, it causes you to not want to continue to be a part of this connection anymore. The fact that you have three fives out here is just basically insinuating um, that you're desiring for things to basically change here between you and this person, ultimately for the better. But the thing is, is that a lot of you feel like things are never going to change and or improve because they continue to do the things that they do within this relationship, causing um, nothing but disappointment, anger, um, and, and resentment on your part is basically what I'm getting, okay? Let's see how they're currently feeling about this relationship, though. How does this person currently feel about this relationship with Taurus? <clears throat> okay. We have, all right, we have the King of Cups. We got the Ten of Pentacles. And then we also have the uh, Three of Cups out here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands. We also have the Hangman with the Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Swords to the Four of Pentacles. And then we also have the Queen of Cups out here. True pair situation, by the way, between you and this person. We do have the King and the Queen of Cups out here. So you're definitely connecting here with your soulmate. But let's dissect this energy that just came out here for this person. So in regards to how this person's currently feeling whatever it is that upset you or bothered you um they're not necessarily viewing it as like a big deal um don't be mad about what i'm about to say okay um we are going like i said based off of you know the way that they're looking at this entire situation the way that they're feeling about it okay whatever it is that you're angry and or upset about because i don't even really know exactly what it is that you're angry and or upset about i just know that you're very angry and upset about something, but everybody's situation is going to be different. But whatever it is that you're actually angry and upset about, um, they are kind of viewing it um, as something that's not worth you being angry and upset about. And this is the part where I'm just like, don't be mad at me, be mad at them. Um, there is something about them essentially feeling like you're, you're overreacting. Uh, in regards to whatever it is you're allowing yourself to get angry and or upset about, okay? Now, I'm not saying you're overreacting. I genuinely feel like you have the right to feel however you want to feel. Um, but, you know, as far as, like, their concern, um, they do kind of feel like you are kind of overreacting over whatever it is that you are choosing to get angry and upset about. You know, at the end of the day, this person just wants the both of you to be happy, that's it. They just really want, you know, the two of you to honestly work out. This person does kind of come off to me as somebody who doesn't want to experience another failed marriage and a relationship. That's one thing that I'm definitely getting strongly. So yeah, they just want the two of you to be happy. They just want this relationship to really work out here between the two of you. They definitely don't want to lose you. That's one thing that I will definitely say. They definitely don't want to lose you. Um, especially over whatever it is that you're choosing to get angry and upset about. Um, Hmm. For some of you, <clears throat> for some of you, you might feel, you might find yourself feeling, um, Taurus, like this person in particular just simply doesn't respect, um, how you feel causing you to get disappointed and angry and hurt in the end um, by their actions, by their behavior, by the way that they decide to show up within this dynamic that they basically share with you. Because I am definitely getting that for you. I mean, the fact that you feel like you can't even talk to this person about what's bothering you and or upsetting you because you feel like it's not going to really change um, absolutely anything. They're still going to continue to do whatever it is that they're doing. Um it, it kind of says a lot, to be completely honest, but I do kind of feel like by them just kind of like dismissing, I would say, like how you feel and, and, and basically feeling like uh, you're overreacting over whatever it is that you're choosing to get angry and upset about. Um, I'm pretty sure it, it does cause you to basically feel in the end that they don't really respect how you feel. Okay. What actions will Taurus take towards this person are moving forward? So we do have the king, Ooh, okay, we have the king of wands, we have the devil out here, and then we also have the two of cups, okay. The bottom of the deck, we do have the three of swords, we have the seven of wands, and then we also have the uh, tower with the temperance card, we also have the seven of swords, and then we also have the eight of cups. So in regards to how you plan on moving forward, there's an energy 
of you developing a lot of anger and resentment towards this person but it has a lot to do with the fact that for one this person's not respecting how you feel and because they don't respect how you feel they continue to do things that eventually end up hurting your feelings or pissing you off you know things of that nature so i do see you developing a lot of anger and resentment towards this person okay i also feel like your perception of this person will drastically change and i don't necessarily feel like it's going to drastically change for the better i do believe it's going to drastically change um for the worst is basically what i'm getting now with the two of cups of the devil coming out here even though you don't necessarily like the way things are playing out currently at the moment between the two of you i don't necessarily see you leaving this marriage and or relationship and it could be because you're not ready um to say goodbye just yet that's definitely a possibility um Maybe there's some things that you need to kind of sort out first before you officially decide to leave them. That's definitely a possibility. Um, but it just kind of looks like, you know, as far as like your energy is concerned, the way that you're feeling about this relationship and viewing this relationship, it, it, it kind of looks like you're starting the whole process, I would say, of like checking out um, emotionally, then checking out mentally, you know, and then you'll eventually check out uh, physically. It kind of looks like you're kind of starting that whole process. Uh, we do have the Three of Swords to the Seven of Wands to the Tower to the Temperance card to the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Cups. Um, I think that you're kind of coming down to this conclusion, Taurus, um, in the near future that things may never change between the two of you. Things may never improve between the two of you. And with Temperance coming out here, um, you know, this to me kind of feels like an energy of you just kind of accepting that reality that this person may never change. The situation may never improve. Um, and the only option that you would have left to not continue to deal in or tolerate with things that you don't want to deal in or tolerate with um, would basically be for you to basically walk away. Now, there's going to come a point in time where you're going to get really fed up and you're not going to want to continue to deal with this person or be a part of this marriage and a relationship anymore. And you will move into a place of acceptance when it comes down to your current situation here with this person. And once you do, you will eventually walk away. Um, but when you do decide to walk away, uh, th there will be no you revisiting this connection ever again because you're already starting the whole process of like checking out emotionally, mentally, uh, to the point where yes, you will eventually leave physically. And once you leave physically, it's very rare uh, for me to see anybody who's going through the whole process of checking out emotionally and mentally and then physically to revisit um, the very thing that they had to check out of uh, mentally, emotionally, and then physically. It's very rare uh, for me to see um, a coming together after that. Uh, so it does appear to me that eventually you'll reach your breaking point. And when you do reach your breaking point, there is no going back after that. Okay, what actions? Oof. Okay. Let's see. We have the Empress, we have the Ten of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Four of Swords. Yeah, I don't necessarily like the way that this person's handling this entire situation, and I don't think that you're going to like it or appreciate it either. Um, because like I said, whatever it is you're angry and upset about, they think that this is just kind of you like overreacting is basically what I'm getting. I'm not saying you're overreacting, but they're kind of look, looking at it like you're just overreacting, right? Um, not only that, not only that, um, but with the Ten of Swords to the Four of Swords to the Empress coming out here, that's kind of telling me that they basically feel like they just kind of have to give you your space to like get over, you know, what's currently upsetting you or, you know, hurting your basically feelings is what I'm getting. Um, I just kind of feel like, um, I just kind of feel like the way that they're responding and reacting to this entire situation is going to furthermore cause you to basically feel like, yeah, like this is somebody I really need to walk away from. This is somebody I really need to stop dealing with because look, they don't even care. Um, I just kind of feel like the way that they're approaching this entire situation is going to lead you to basically think that way and feel that way. The bottom of the deck, we do have the seven of wands. We also have the king of pentacles to the two of pentacles. And then we also have the ace of wands with the ace of pentacles. So instead of this person taking time out of their day to try to fix or repair things here, um, 
you know, with, with you and acknowledge how you feel. Um, it looks like this person's choosing to do the complete opposite. They're not taking time to acknowledge how you feel. They're not taking time to fix and repair things here with you. What they're going to end up doing in the end is just giving you your space um, and, and your time to just get over, you know, whatever it is that you're so angry and upset about. In the meantime, it kind of looks like they're going to spend their time focusing on themselves, their career, um, you know, things of that nature. Um, it doesn't look like this person wants to take time out of their day um, to, you know, fix and repair things here with you and make things right here with you is basically what I'm getting. Okay. Um, like I said, Taurus, I just feel like the way that they're choosing to approach this entire situation here with you, um, it's just furthermore causing you to kind of feel like, yeah, this is not something that I want to continue to deal with and or be a part of. And it's mainly because this person is basically kind of giving you reasons to not want to continue to be a part of this relationship. And by them responding and reacting the way that they're responding and reacting, it's just going to cause you to feel that way even more. So we have engagement. We have make the effort. And then we also have this could be the one. I feel like this is mainly advice for this person, not necessarily for you. <clears throat> even though this person... Um, does view this relationship that they share with you in a very, very beautiful lighting. There are parts of this relationship that they don't necessarily like. Um, as far as like them basically feeling like there's times where you basically make them feel like they can never do any anything right within this dynamic that they basically share with you. That's not something that, you know, they like. You know, it's not a good feeling, you know, for them to basically experience on their end uh, within this dynamic that they basically share with you. But outside of that, they do view this relationship as a perfect relationship and they don't want to experience another failed marriage and or relationship. The problem is, is that the way that they're handling this entire situation is going to lead the two of you to basically separate um, and, and basically part ways from one another if they continue to approach this entire situation the way that I see them approaching this entire situation with you. Um, if they honestly don't want to experience another failed marriage in a relationship, something has to give. Obviously, something needs to change in order for this relationship to basically work. Um, but they're not doing what they should be doing on their end, um, causing them to more than likely experience another failed marriage and or relationship. Um, like I said, Taurus, the moment that you check out, you know, mentally and emotionally, and then you leave physically, there, there is no, I'm sorry. There is no, please give me another chance because again, it's, it's just, it's very rare for me to see somebody go through this process and then go back to the very thing they had to check out, um, mentally and emotionally over. It's very rare for me to see that. So I think that this person still has time to fix and repair things here with you. I just kind of feel like. Um, the way that they're approaching this entire situation is like the epitome of like digging themselves into a hole uh, without them even realizing it. And that's kind of what this person's doing. They're basically setting themselves up to basically lose you by approaching this entire situation the way that they're choosing to approach it. I just don't feel like this person's consciously aware that that's basically what they're doing. All right. Uh, but it kind of looks like that's unfortunate what they're doing. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.